Hello YouTube, this is Dale De Palma here today to give you a look back of how Mr. Rogers talks about celebrations through episodes 1561 to 1565. First up, in episode 1561, Mr. Rogers tries to play a toy trumpet, but it's not working properly. Then Mr. McFeely came by to exchange the defective toy trumpet to a working toy trumpet. Later on, after make-believe, Mr. McFeely shows Rogers how people make trumpets with Chuck Ward and Paul Spencer Atkins, who works at the factory. Next up, in episode 1562, Mr. Rogers and Chuck Aber play a little game of basketball. After that, he goes to the neighborhood planetarium, which is nowhere to be seen, but it was shot to the sky. There, he meets Audrey Williams, and she shows him the projector and how it works to show a starry sky on a dome ceiling. Audrey shows the stars, the moon, and constellations. One other thing I want to mention to you is I've been to two planetariums. One is at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago, Illinois, and the other is at the Arizona Science Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Then in the neighborhood of Make Believe, Everyone is still waiting for King Friday the 13th Comet to come anytime soon. And Lady Lane Fairchild receives a, f a call from Purple Planet Purple. I wonder how they came up with a name for our planet, which is, which is really called Planet Purple. Anyway, next, in episode 1563, Mr. Rogers goes to Joe Negri's music shop to meet Wenton Marcellus, the trumpeter. All together with other musicians, they all played a jazz version of It's You I Like. If you don't know what a trumpet is, I'll show it to you on my musical instrument chart. So this instrument right here is the standard trumpet, which is a B flat. You see, trumpets are made of made of brass with three valve keys ending in a flare bell. So that's the standard trumpet I want to show to you. Then in the neighborhood of make-believe, upon looking through the telescope, was Planet Purple. Next, in episode 1564, Mr. Rogers shows a film of how people make candles. In the neighborhood of make-believe, it's Henrietta Pussycat's birthday. You know, candles can be for any celebration like birthdays, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, weddings, and many more. And finally, in episode 1565, Mr. Rogers presents an opera called A Star for Kitty, which is about a kitty who wants a star for her birthday. In the opera, Kitty asks Half Moon if he can give her a tiny star just for her as a birthday gift. But there is a little bit of a problem. Tiny Star doesn't want to go out from the sky. Revealing from the tube of toothpaste was Tiny Star. And everyone celebrated Kitty and wished her a happy birthday, including the comment they've been waiting for. So that concludes our look back of how Mr. Rogers talks about celebrations. I hope you guys had fun. Coming up next is how Mr. Rogers talks about playthings. Don't miss it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to comment on this video if you have any questions or concerns and share with your family and friends and celebrate. And be sure to click the notification bell too. And I'll see you on my next episode. Thanks for watching and God bless you guys.